different than it is slightly lesser, it's around 850. But we see that how it can change in a particular case when you really do some problem. However, if you look at the Gene Marcelli, just we try to understand the whole relativity semiconductor concept from the theory itself. If you look at the Gene Marcelli semiconductor, we see that slope is substantially more. So mobility would be more. How much more? The number is around 8,000, which is many, many times larger than the mobility of the electron in a semiconductor. Okay, many times larger than the mobility of the electron in a semiconductor. And one more very important thing that we are observing is that this drift velocity is increasing, getting a big acceleration of the electric field, and then it, it decreases. When it decreases, with mobility is, although maybe maybe slope may be too high, but when it decreases, mobility is. What is happening in the mobility? Mobility, the, the, the values of the mobility would be the same, but it is oppositely given. Slope is, so slope is oppositely directed. So mobility, if you look at the slope, slope value is same, that the mobility value will be almost same, but it will be oppositely directed. That means, what is opposite? Suppose if once electrons are moving in this direction, the resistance offered by the electron would be something different than the electron moves in the opposite direction. So, there is a differential resistance that is, that is taking place in the system when we consider a semiconductor like gallium arsenic we replace in an electric field. Differential resistance because of differential mobility. It creates some differential resistance because of some differential mobility. If mobility one is positive, then mobility one gets negative. Now this differential resistance is very much useful in an electrical circuit that is known as we require some differential resistance in electrical circuit so that we can create some kind of oscillation. That is called oscillator. So Kind of gallium arsenic, uh, the kind of gallium arsenic semiconductor would be useful more in the case of oscillator circuit because we require their differential resistance. So that's a very important uh, the significance of the mobility, differential mobility and differential resistance. And the kind of semiconductor is called gallium arsenic. It's not a normal semiconductor. Normal semiconductor is silicon. The normal semiconductor will not act as a differential resistance. Okay. So, in the velocity saturation means, the due to the application of the applied electric field, if the velocity, drift velocity gets saturated up to a, up, after a certain phase of the electric field, then this would happen only in case of some normal semiconductor. And then after that electric field, the drift velocity would be totally independent of the applied electric field. It will get saturated. However, there are some semiconductor like gallium arsenic where the velocity Drift velocity increases with the increase of the applied electric field and it gets, it, it, it gets maximum value and after that it decreases. So when it increases, its mobility is in a particular direction. When it decreases, its mobility is in opposite directions. This opposite polarity of the mobility or differential mobility introduces some differential resistance and the differential resistance is being used for oscillator circuit. Now what happens with this with this velocity saturation thing? We know that. Like if I consider the energy K diagram. Now we we'll go back to the second figure. If I consider the energy K diagram, we know that the energy gap between the top of the balance band to the bottom of the conductor band is having a finite value or the minimum value at k is equal to zero, and that is we call as a band gap energy. Now, now if the electron then the electron mass at the bottom of the conduction band really is of the order of n e star is of the order of 0 0.067 eV. 0 0.067 eV. However, when you introduce this, this, this change of the, the change of the the presentation of the electron in this conduction field is basically happening because of the applied electric field. Mobility gets changed. However, when the, in, with the increase of the electric field, 
the effective mass of the electron gets increases so much so that it becomes of the order of 0.55 degree in its upper valley, however it is in lower valley. So when it is so high, so its velocity must be very very low. So the velocity change is taking place, the slope is decreasing, so mobility is reducing. So that concept is also called as when the effective mass of the electron or effective mass of the mole in its conventional band increases or decreases with the application of the anti electric field, then its velocity reduces. Velocity cannot reduce just like this. So if, if we know that the effective mass has to be changed. So as I already know, the effective mass is getting changed in case of semiconductor. So that's what the velocity is in relation and and the change of effective mass within its conduction band which, which changes the velocity and the change of velocity with respect to the applied electric field is being so this is basically with the, with the application of this arc with the application of the applied electric field the velocity of the electrons in this conduction band will change if you don't apply any electric field the m is m starts of the order of 0 0.067 dB for a particular case and for the same case with the application of the electric field the electron will gain some, uh, lose some of its energy, so mass will increase by huge number, and that mass increases if the difference of the energy level is equal to 0 0.31 degree, then here mass will be equal to almost 5.0.5 degree, which is much more than the 0 0.067 degree, so the velocity reduces like anything, so velocity happens with almost constant. So this concept you can say must be around the electric field of the order of 34 or 34 or 30 kilo volt if we consider silicon. So that's what we call velocity saturation. Concept of velocity saturation means change in the velocity of the electron with the application of the applied electric field in a semiconductor and that is normally it's totally different for two different types of semiconductor. In one case, it is almost saturated, not in, in case in with the electric field. In one case, it increases and then decreases. Increase and decrease of the velocity, field velocity being considered for oscillator side. Fine. Is it okay? Velocity saturation. If I ask, that will that will come short note of velocity saturation. What do you mean by velocity distribution? What is the significance of the velocity distribution in an electric electrical circuit or electronic circuit? Is it okay? Then we go to the next topic, diffusion current. So drip current, drip current related to the drip current, we have finished everything. So the next topic is Where 
small L is the mean free path distance covered by the electron before colliding with another electron. Small L is the mean free path and tau is the mean free time. Say the electrons are in absence of any applied electric field. So there will be some random motion of the electron. This random motion of the electron would be in a particular direction and that will cover a distance small l in a time tau. This is the mean free time. So this small l will be equal to B thermal into tau, where B thermal is the thermal of the electron, l is the mean free path covered by the electron and tau is the time taken by the electron to cover that particular mean free path. So this, part of this particular distance is covered in the thermal velocity is a V thermal. Is it okay? this, this is the only concept that we are. We are saying that initially that let's consider a homogeneous concentration of doping concentration of electrons in a semiconductor or hole in the semiconductor. If it is homogeneous, if there is a spatial concentration gradient of the electron and hole in the semiconductor that because of the spatial concentration gradient there will be some flow of the electron that goes from higher concentration region to the lower concentration region. If the electron goes from higher concentration region to the lower concentration region opposite to the direction of the electron flow there will be some current. However, hole will flow from higher concentration to lower concentration region the direction of the current will be along the same direction. Positive to positive direction. So conventionally we say that, this is conventional. We don't, there is nothing called current is flowing positive to negative. There is only thing is called electron is flowing from negative to positive. So that's all. Now if we consider the same concept, let's consider the concentration of electron is changing in the x direction. One dimensional change in the concentration of electron. Let's say the concentration of electron is L minus L and x is equal to minus L n0 at x equal to 0 and nl at x equal to l where l is the minimum path that an electron can move without colliding with another electron. Is it okay? And give the time taken by this electron to move that much of small l is equal to tau. That l can be represented as v thermal into tau. Is it fine? Is it okay? To write down. Consider a homogeneous concentration of semiconducting material. Consider a homogeneous doping concentration of semiconducting material. Homogeneous with all protein is uniform. If there is a spatial if there is a spatial variation of carrier concentration, if there is a spatial variation of carrier concentration, then in addition to the drift current, then in addition to the drift current, there exists a current component, then in addition to the drift current, there exists a current component due to the concentration gradient. In addition to drift current, there exists a current component due to the concentration gradient termed as diffusion current. The one dimensional concentration gradient one dimensional concentration gradient with respect to distance in absence of any applied electric field the one dimensional concentration gradient with respect to distance in absence of any applied electric field is shown in figure 1 
small l is the mean free path and tau is the collision time or time to cover this mean free path then L is equal to B thermal into tau where B thermal is average thermal velocity of electric which we are not considering electric field. Now what okay? Now we will try to see the motion of the electron at x is equal to 0. Now what we said that some electron I said that because of concentration gradient, electrons are moving from higher concentration to lower concentration or both are moving from the lower concentration to whatever the motion of the electrons and holes are taking place. We will see how this motion of the electrons and holes at x is equal to 0. Now some, suppose the electrons are moving from x is equal to minus l to x is equal to 0. And what is the density of electron at x is equal to minus l? n minus l. What is the density of electron at x is equal to 0? n 0. So what is the average number of electrons are moving from x is equal to <coughs> minus l to x is equal to 0. Average number of electrons that are moving from x is equal to minus l to x is equal to 0 would be equal to n of minus l plus n of 0 divided by 2. Is it okay? Now, when the electrons are moving from here to this side, we are talking about moving here to here this side, then if there is a random motion, let's consider half of this is moving towards this side and half of this is moving towards this side. Similarly, when the electrons are moving from this side, so the average number of electrons from n is equal to n to n is equal to 0 would be equal to n, n plus n 0 divided by 2 and half of this is moving towards right, half of this is moving towards left. So the net number of flux of the electrons which is moving, which is crossing this x equal to 0 is half from this side and half from this side. Is it okay? This is the only concept here. I consider that by concentration of electrons, this we can do it simply by Taylor expansion, by using mathematics. But I am not going to try interested to do the mathematical concept. I am just interested to do the physical concept. There is one more of, uh, alternative method is also there in your book. This is not as a Niemann book. Niemann book is directly that introduced that mathematical Taylor expansion. Since you do not say, say you do not know Taylor expansion, then also we can do the same thing. So this is slightly different than what is given in the Niemann book. Totally physical concept. So I think that the electrons are moving in all this random motion of the electron. Let's consider the motion of the electron from L is equal to minus L. So the, the number of electrons that is moving, average number of electrons that is moving from L is equal to L is equal to minus L to L is equal to 0 would be equal to L minus L plus L 0 divided by 2. And the total number, hence the total number of these electrons would be equal to within this L within this small n. This is the minimum distance. <coughs> so, and half of this will cross x is equal to 0. So, the, cross, the number of electrons that is moving from x is equal to minus l will cross x is equal to 0 would be half of this. That means 1 by 4, l by 4, n minus l plus n 0. Okay? And similarly, if the electrons are starting moving from this side, so the average number of electrons from L is equal to x is equal to L to x is equal to 0 would be equal to L, L plus N 0 divided by 2 and the elect total electron within that equal to this and half of this will move towards right, half of this will move, will move towards left. So the half will move to cross x is equal to 0, so it will be equal to 1 by 4. So the flux of electron which is moving from x equal to minus n towards x equal to 0 is 1 by L by 4 of this and other way also is L by 4 but this has been oppositely directed. So net flux will be equal to F1 minus F2. So that is what we need to find out. Then we will see how we can correlate with the current density or the that how can we can call as the diffusion current density. So we will write down this part first. 
the average concentration of electron sorry if Lx is the concentration of electron if Lx is the concentration of electron at any position within x if Lx is the concentration of Lx means L within bracket x L is a function of x Nx is a concentration of electron at any position within x then the average concentration of electron from x is equal to minus l to x is equal to 0 is n minus l plus n 0 divided by 2 hence the concentration of electrons per unit area in the region concentration of electron per unit area in the region x equal to minus l to x, to x equal to 0 would be equal to l into this
Is it okay? Put this equation number two. <coughs> Suppose 
if this is my position, if the electrons are moving in this directions, flux of electrons are moving in this directions, flux of electron, then my diffusion current, J diffusion for electron will be opposite with it. Is it okay? If I consider my flux of electrons are flux of holes are moving in this direction, then is equal to F P, then my diffusion current density for hole also will be moving in the same direction. So diffusion current basically gives me because of the density gradient dmdx or dpdx of the electrons and holes in the same so the net current density now we are we are we are in a position to say what is the current density current density of electron is related to the drift current density current density of holes is related to drift current density similarly current density of electron is can be represented as a diffusion current density and current density of holes can be represented can be represented as diffusion current density of holes now in a semiconductor if i have both electrons and holes in a semiconductor if i have both electrons and holes then the net current density j now i'm considering in a semiconductor which is consisting of both electrons and holes the net current density j is equal to j drift for electron plus j drift for holes plus j diffusion for electron plus j diffusion for holes. Now I substitute this value. What is this? E mu n n E mu n n capital E plus or minus plus E mu p P capital E minus E capital D N D N D X no plus minus P D P D P D X. E D N D N D X. Minus of E D P D P T X. E D N D D N D N D X. Now you can the diffusion current. Okay, now I'm coming back to the very important thing. 
Now I said that drip current is basically takes place because of electric field, but diffusion current can be take place because of without electric field also. But if there is a diffusion current, that means the charge carriers from one region is moving to the another region. Now how long they will move? Suppose electrons are because of density gated, electrons are coming to this side. Now there are some more electrons now. Now we know that in the semiconductor when the electrons move from one position to another position, it creates some empty space in the same position. So it, it creates some holes over there. Now, number of electrons in this side increasing, number of holes in this side increasing. So it is it is creating some charge separation. It is making some charge separation. This charge separation will make some electric field. So we can find out what is the electric field associated with this. If this electric field is there, this electric field will try to change the motion of the electron because of the external electric field. But it has to be predominant. You cannot see the effect of this one because external electric field is so high, it is not allowing to create the charge separation like this. Field. But if it is there, there must be some effect because of this charge separation. So we will try to find out what is this electric field generation because of charge separation because of concentration predominant. And then this all this mobility and diffusion, we have we got the diffusion coefficient dn, we got the mobility coefficient drip co coefficient is mu n. Is there any relationship between dn and mu? That relation is called Einstein. That's the next topic. And then we have to find out the problem. So the three more topics left in this particular Stop here. Where is, uh, where is the yes? No, it's just total current. We say that it's coming out.